Hi guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Kamran and you're watching my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will going to demonstrate Confluent Kafka. And in this session, we'll see how to live stream data using Confluent Kafka. Uh, it's a UI based uh, uh, version. I already made a video uh, earlier uh, for the normal Kafka installation and the process of uh, live streaming. So you can watch that video. I will put the link in the description. And in this video, we'll see the same thing, but using Confluent Kafka, we'll use the sync and the source connector, source connector to import the data from the DB to the uh, topics. And we'll use sync connector to read the data from the topics and move back into the another DB and it's going to be live. So the next you will see my computer screen. And if you guys have any question related to the same topic, Please write me in the comment section below and we will see, uh, we will discuss inshallah there. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe and uh, the next you will see my computer screen. Thank you so much. So hi guys, this is my computer screen. Let's begin uh, to begin with. This is my, you know, Amundo client. So let me see what is the status right now. So if you see everything is up and running and I have some shortcuts ready here. So let me take this URL and i think i already opened it so let me just hit it and we'll see you oh, this is our cluster and in our cluster and this is our confluent home and uh, i'll see this is the broker and i have uh, topics as well and i have some connectors as well so to to do this demo i will just remove everything by the destroy command here i removed everything so now if you see the on the back end the server went down and it will come up accordingly because you see now it's went down you see you see this is in action it's getting down and up you know this is this is normal because i am running this action so let me start one more time so now it will be starting all the services one by one so i am doing this to demonstrate everything from the scratch how to get the data into the Kafka and how to get out uh, data back into the DB from the Kafka. So basically we need to create some connectors will and uh, get the data from the connector to the topics and get out the data, get back the data from the topics to the DB. Uh, I will try to cover everything in this uh, session until this starts. Let me show you the database which we are going to use. This is the source. I have a demo DB and I have an employee DB. In the demo DB, I have only one table. So this table will be used as a demonstration where we are inserting and this will be sent, this information will send as a data stream and we'll get back the data into our employee DB into the person one same table and we'll see how uh, it happens and you know how it happened in the real time. So if you see here in my person demo, demo database, this table currently have nothing no record even though if I go to the employee database here and if I see here it also does not contain anything everything is blank so let's go back and see if everything is start up yes everything is start up so this is my uh, my my home screen of the confluent uh, Kafka uh, the cluster is healthy go back to the detail currently if you see the topics under the topics there is nothing under the connectors there is nothing I'll just refresh it uh, to let this be uh, available so now if you see uh, it's available I'll give you some explanation what is connectors connector basically allow you to connect with the databases okay to get the data stream into it and to get the stream out into certain databases as well live so if I go back here I, or if I click into this it's ask me to connect the connect uh, create the connector add the connector so I, if I say add there will be two choices source and sync and it's also written here sync source sync source what is sync and what is source source basically allow us to get the data stream into the topics okay what is the topics basically is nothing but represent the table in the database for example if i create a source uh, connector i have to define particular table or we have to give a prefix of that particular source connection to give the uh, to get the list of all the tab tables into that particular database okay we'll we'll quickly uh, do it and you will understand what does it mean so basically source connectors are allowing us to get the information from the database uh, our source database and then we will use this sync connectors to get this information get the get the data live data into the uh, target database so let's quickly create a sync uh, source connector first 
in the source uh, my source is basically my sql db so this is basically the connection so i'll say select and here i'll say my uh, source that's all this is the name i'll just copy as one task one time only run this uh, this session one time only and uh, no error handling required here i will define the uh, i have the shortcuts ready the connection strings here demo database uh, connection string uh, you should use your database connection make sure you are writing the right ip and the port and the database name this is nothing but a username of that database and the password and go back you have to whitelist the tables here which uh, in my case is only person one i'll just take it and i'll just whitelist it hit enter sorry so this table basically whitelisted so this when we finish this uh, particular uh, connector it will create this uh, it will only bring this table information and currently only this is available in my database okay and here mode mode of the data should be incremental so i say incrementing mode and here we need to say id Bas increment happen based on what based on id and that's all here uh, we have to define the prefix basically this is the prefix i say if you have multiple list of uh, tables you can create a prefix of this particular connector so i'll say this connector dash so any table uh, which allowed from this connection it will have a this prefix with and the table name so that's all i'll say continue and say launch and as i say launch it will add a connector here for me and yes if you see it's up and running so currently if you see i added this uh, particular um, what to say connector but if you go to the topic there is no topic available it means this connector currently does not have any message or any queue of the data into the topic but the connector is running right this is this connector it's running so let's add some data now so we are in the demo database you see and this time i make a insert here first record okay if you select if i select right now there is nothing but if I select this record, insert this record, and now if I select, I have a one record here. But if you go back now, if you get, go back now, it says dragged. So maybe there is some action happen. That's why it make, make, make this particular connector dragged. So let me see what is actually issue here. Task value, error handling, demo, person, I'll say ID and not the connection type yeah all looks good but let me just put the password maybe password is wrong yeah it's all look fine now and let me continue this it's running now so let me go back and this time i'll truncate this one more time and i will insert the same record again let's see whether the record exists here yeah record is exist here and this is running now if you see the topic topic is created and there are some activities also in the topics so look, let's go back and see the connector if still yeah it's fine now so maybe the uh, column name issue because it's a capital letter id i just cha change this to capital letter and that's why now it's working and our topic is also created now this time what i will do i will i will create another connection because if you see my source database in the source database there is uh, there is nothing it's still nothing because there is no connectivity so now this time we'll create a sync connector come here add a connector this time we'll choose sync and we select this and we'll select the uh, topic from the list this is the topic which we select here i'll say my sync and that's all the task should be one time uh, error handling nothing nothing here here we need to pass the connection string this time i use the so target db which is employee here target db connection string username and password make sure it should be correct yeah so this is the password and what else 
it required uh, yeah insert mode it will be insert only sorry control z control c insert and data mapping yeah we have to define the table which is percent table uh, map the data into this table and this ddl uh, support should be true means it allows to write back into the database and that's all you say continue and launch as soon i launch it will say that my sync connector is also up and running and if you see into the topic is there is any activity currently it's not show any activity so we'll go back and we'll see our both connectors are running this time i go back into my db the source db let me run it and if i run it the one record is already inserted which was previously i inserted here right so as soon as the connection is established it automatically brings the data into my uh, target db so now let's see in live scenario if i insert any other record is going to be live added or not we'll say two and this time i'll say uh, any other name and i insert this record immediately we'll see the con uh, its uh, topics uh, if anything happens into the topic currently no activity because it's only one record otherwise it will show you the graphs as well but when we go back into our uh, target database and if i select it have another record so it's happening live right real time now now i'll add another record let's say third record with the same information i say insert immediately i go back to my my target database i run it the third record is available so alhamdulillah i hope you guys like the uh, demonstration of the confluent kafka we covered the topics and the connectors and this is through the uh, confluent uh, if you guys have any question any anything in your mind which i can explain so i will i am i will be available you can write me in the comment section and i'll try to answer all your queries uh, i hope you liked and subscribe to my channel and uh, see you in the next video thank you so much